for another lesson. That's right. Yes, it's lesson 1.2. And we are doing fourth grade math. I'm very proud to say, yeah, because fourth graders rock. That's right, they do. Hey, what are we looking at today, my friends? We have the topic of, yes, read and write numbers. If you recall, in our previous lesson, we were looking at, that's right, the place value relationships. Now we're going to read and write the numbers. What is our essential question? This is our learning target, our objective. It is, how can you read and write numbers through hundred thousands? Woo, hundred thousands, that's so big. Yes, it's a big, big number, I guess. But, of course, we can't do anything until we, that's right, unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. That's right, because here we have the International Space Station, also known as the ISS. It uses 262,400 solar cells to change sunlight to electricity. Hmm, that seems like a lot. Write 262,400 in standard form. Worm for, worm, blah, 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 blah. I mean, word form and expanded form. Yes, and it says use a place value chart. Okay, now each group of three digits separated by a comma is called a period. Each period has hundreds, tens, and ones. The greatest place value position in the thousands period is hundred thousands. So let's go ahead and take a look at this place value chart. Write 262,400 in the place value chart below. Okay, it shows us, it shows us the ones period. It shows us the thousands period. And as you can see, we have the ones, tens, hundreds in each period. So the number 262,400 has two periods, thousands and ones. Okay, because that comma there, <laughs> which separates the periods, which can be kind of confusing because you think of comma and period, in our regular writing, but this is different period suggesting kind of a group of time. Anyways, our standard form is just written like when we write numbers. Standard. Standard refers to hmm, the way things are typically given to us. And in this case, when we write numbers, we just write them like this, 262,000 with a 262 comma 400. But in word form, obviously we're going to use words. They're very, very easy. 262,000 400. And again, notice there's no and in any of these word forms. We don't write the word and, like sometimes we'll want to say. In math, we don't use the word and unless we're talking about decimals. And I don't think we're there yet. Expanded form. Expanded means when you make it kind of longer, larger. Okay? What happens to water when it heats up? It expands. Right? So it can evaporate. Okay, it does the opposite when water freezes. So think of expanding as getting larger. Okay, anyway, look at the expanded form. Look how much long. Look how much longer it is. It's it's two hundred thousand plus sixty thousand plus two thousand plus four hundred, and those represent each one of those digits in the actual number. There aren't any tens or any ones, so that's why we don't write anything there. Isn't this easy? Hmm. Makes me think like I'm teaching kindergarten. But you guys are fourth graders, and fourth graders are smart. And I know you guys are going to come through here. Let's continue. Now it says, try this. Use place value to read and write numbers. Standard form. All right, we just write our number down in standard form. It says that the word form is 92,000. So there's a comma that separates that one period. And then we have 170. You know, if we look for that comma, that separation, it makes it so much easier to write these numbers. Now it says expanded form, 90,000 plus 2,000 plus, yeah, we're missing the 100 here. Because then we have plus our 70. Okay? Standard form, here we have the 200,007. So our word form is 200, but we need to put in our 1,000, right? Because we're in that period. So 200,000, I'm barely going to fit, I'm going to make a new comma there. So 200,000, and then simply 7. And we don't write anything in between because there are no hundreds and there are no tens. Finally, expanded form, super easy. We're just going to write 200,000 plus the 7. 
So 200,000 plus the 7. Okay? Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that. That was pretty easy. Now it says, how can you use place value and period names to read and write 324,904 in word form? Well, I could write 324 in the thousands period because thinking of my place value chart, I would have the ones over here. I would have my thousands over here, my three sections, tens, ones. Here I have hundreds, tens, ones, and of course, and write 904 in the ones period. So here I would have my 904, and here I would have my 324 in the thousands period. So I can read and write the number as 324,000. And this is where my comma will go. This as it is is the numbers written in standard form. And please know too that tens to ones place, you always hyphenate 24, 86, 92. Okay, whenever you move from the, the, the tens place to the ones place, we want to hyphenate that. And finally, we just write 904. 900, not and four, just four. Okay, and there are no tens, so therefore that's why we don't have 94 or 64. We don't have anything in the tens place, and that's it. Okay, so how can you use place value and period names to read and write that? Well, the place value chart is clearly the easiest way. Put my digits in there, and then I could just write my 324. It would show up in the thousands period. My 904 would be in the ones period, so I could just read it across. Cool. So what we have now is just read and write the number in two other forms. All right. Well, we have the word form here, 408,017. So 408. That would be the part I want to write down first, just 408. When we see that thousand, we know that that's one of the periods. That's the thousands period, so we put that comma there. And they have the comma listed there as well, 17. Now, I can't just write a 17. No, because in each period, you have hundreds, tens, and ones. So I would have to put a zero in the hundreds place and then put 17 for 17 to be correctly written. Okay? That's an easy pitfall right there is to forget to put that zero in the hundreds place if there are none. We always have hundreds, tens, ones. That's in one period and then in the next period. This is true as we move up into the millions too. Okay? Cool. Now we move to, oh, it said in, I'm sorry, in two other forms. I almost didn't read all my directions. Okay, so the other form would be, if this is the standard form, we put in the expanded form. And here we would have 400,000, okay, plus 8,000. There are no 10,000s, plus 10, plus 7. You might want to put 17, but we have to separate each one of those digits in its own place value. Okay, now we have the in standard form, so I'll do it word form first. 60, I know this takes a long time. 65, because we have that situation where we have the tens to the ones. 65, we have that comma, so that lets us know that we're going to have to have 65,000. Okay, 65,000, comma, 58. 50, and then I have to put a hyphen, 8, because again we have tens to ones. Okay, and then of course expanded form. 60,000 plus 5,000 plus 50 plus 8. <laughs> My pen started putting this little circle around it. How bizarre. Okay, let's keep on going. Now it says on your own. Okay, so you might you, <laughs> now we got a little hand here. How did you get there? I think it just already is on the page when I did my screenshot. Anyway, it says on your own, you might want to stop the video here, you know, try these on your own. And then what you could do is you could start the video again and then check and see how you did. Of course, assuming that Mr. Wara got them right. Okay, so it says read and write the number in two other forms. So this is what we were just doing. It's just kind of on your own. 508,000, I think I'm gonna write that. 508,000, so I definitely have 500,000 plus 8,000, 500, 8,000. I can see where that'd be a little bit tricky. You see, make a mistake on that one because you've seen 500 and the eights continued and then you have 1,000. That's how you have to do that. And of course, in standard form, it's just going to be 508. And then we have to put our comma there and three zeros to make 508,000. Otherwise, the number would just be 508. That would not be enough. Okay. 
Coming over here, number five says 40,000. So I'm going to write, oop, 40. But first I'm going to put 40. Well, you know, we, we can't put four. We have to put actually 40,000 plus 600 plus 10 plus 9 to make the 19. Plus 600 plus 10 plus 9. Okay. And then in standard form, 40,000 comma 600. That was super easy. 19. Okay. Next one is in standard form. So I'll write in word form first. 500. Ooh, sloppy. Sloppy, Mr. Wara. 500. 570,000. Ooh, comma, 20. And of course, I had to use the other line, so I'm just going to do this. Now I'm going to write it in expanded form. 500,000 for sure. Plus 70,000. Because we don't have any in the thousands place. Plus 20. That's it. Okay. Now they gave it to us in expanded form. So we'll write it in standard form first. 400,000. Oh, 400,000 plus 60,000. That makes 460,000. But we also have a 5. So 465,000, comma, 100. Ooh, that's nice. 465,100. And then word form, obviously, we're going to put 400. You can almost look at this standard form. makes it easier. 100. Ooh, I forgot my R. Here we go. 465. There's my hyphen. 65. And of course, 1,000. I don't know, put 1,000 or 1,000. I think it's 1,000. And of course, uh, 100. 100. Okay. Now, what do you have? The last part here says use the number 145,973. Okay. So we're going to use that number for these following questions. Number eight write the name of the period that has the digits 1, 4, 5. The period. Oh, I like that they do that. Okay, so that's definitely the thousands because we can see by that comma there. It's letting us know that first comma there. Number nine says, write the name of the period that has the digits 973. Those are the other one. That's actually called the ones period. Sloppy, sloppy. Okay, write the digit in the ten thousands place. Write the digit in the ten thousands place. Well, if that's the thousand, the way it goes ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, that's going to be a four. Okay, write the value of the digit one. And the one is located in the hundred thousands place because remember it goes ones, tens, hundreds, but it, because it's in a thousands period, it's going to be 100,000. So it's going to have a value of 100,000. Yeah. Woohoo! Whoa! What a doozy! Oh my goodness, that video just flew by! Man, this reminds me of a story. The fly went by, the math video went by. Hey, you guys, it's so great to have you along. Man, I'm so glad you come. Well, my friends, all good things must come to an end. Yes, and this is one of those things that need to come to an end. So, with that being said, my friends, live long and prosper.